Hey friend, thanks for popping in. What amazing times we're living in. What an extraordinary season of history. Now you might say, this is horrible, Steve. This is like the worst. The devil is ruling. Oh friend, don't give him as much credit as many people are these days. The devil is a pawn in the hands of God. If he wanted him gone, he'd snap his fingers and it would be over. If there's still a devil, it's because God still needs a pawn in this world. God is planning something so big, so phenomenal, so miraculous. Uh, you just don't even know what he's writing. And when something as big as this, I mean, as I'm recording this, this is uh, March 19th, 2020. We're right in the middle of the, the fear and the, the turmoil and the world panic that is caused by the coronavirus, that is caused by uh, the oil crashing, like I think 20, 25 bucks a barrel or less today. People are terrified. And, uh, and when people are terrified and the world is screaming in the streets, I find myself saying, oh God, what are you up to? What are you doing? Because God is up to something big. And when we need a big miracle, that's when he brings big miracles. This is the, not a day for little angels. This is the day for big angels. And God is going to do big things uh, in the lives of those who position themselves and posture themselves before him with submission and humility and prayer and fasting and waiting upon the Lord. Friend, this is the, if you've ever had a time in your life where you need to be saying yes to God and making time for him every day, it is right now. He is looking for people to pour his spirit out on. It says 2 Chronicles 16, 9, the eyes of the Lord run to and fro, to and fro throughout the earth. What's he looking for? He's looking for someone whose heart is fully committed to him so that on his behalf, he might show himself strong. God wants to show himself strong on your behalf. The question is, is your heart fully committed to him? I want to encourage you, friend, don't listen to the news. Don't, don't spend all your time strolling through social media. Don't let that fear and panic press into you. You were created for such a time as this. One of my favorite passages in the Bible is from Acts 17, verse 25. It says, the, the, the God who made the world and everything in it is the Lord of heaven and earth. And he doesn't live in temples built by hands as if he needed anything. For he himself gives all men life and breath and everything else. It says, from one man, he created all nation of men. That, and he had determined that they should... Sorry, that they may inhabit the whole earth. And he determined, listen to this, he determined the time set for them and the exact places where they should live. I'm going to say that again. God determined the time set for you and the exact place where you would live. And God did this so that men would seek him and perhaps reach out for him and find him. Friends, God put you at this time in this place for a reason. And the reason is so that you might seek him. Maybe you're watching this today and you've never given your life to Jesus. And you're petrified, you're terrified because the world seems to be crashing all around you. I got good news for you. God put you in this mess. God put you at this time, in this town, in this place, right now, in this difficult situation. Why? So that man would seek him. So that you would cry out and say, God, I need your help. I need you to be the hero in my life. I need you to save me from that save me from this situation save me from this devastation and he comes like superman flying to the rescue and it was his plan all the time you say would god do that absolutely he would god would put you in a burning building just to get you to cry out for help so that he could be the savior in your story to the to be the rescuer in your life and I want you to know that 2020 is a year of global evangelism. People are going to get saved, and I mean millions and millions and perhaps hundreds of millions. Is this the beginning of the billion soul harvest that Bob Jones prophesied? And I think we really need about two or three billion people saved. Friends, I know it is. 
This is the beginning. God is shaking everything that can be shaken. And if you're hanging on to something that can be shaken, friends, it's going to come out of your hand. And you're going to have to grab on to something else. And friends, I'm going to tell you something around the world. You're going to see people reaching out to Jesus Christ, and he's going to take hold of them. I'm not worried about this recession one bit. Why? Because I'm a child of God's. He is obligated to take care of me. It's like my children. Do you think they're worried about missing a meal tomorrow? They're so happy that school's been canceled. They get to go ice fishing with dad. They get to hang out. My kids are thrilled. They're not at all worried about uh, food on the table or recession or any of that. Why? Because they know they have a father who has an obligation to take care of them. I'm not worried about this recession one bit. I'm not losing any sleep whatsoever. I have a father who is obligated to take care of me, and he always does. He always comes through for me. Friend, it's true for you too, as long as you're walking with him, you're saying yes to him, and you're living that surrendered life. I want to give you a scripture. I know I'm kind of going long today, but I want to give you a scripture that kind of goes with today's date. It's three. 19, March 19th, I want to give you Revelation 319. Jesus said these words. He said, those whom I love, I rebuke and discipline. So be earnest and repent. Listen to that. Those whom I love, I rebuke and discipline. You say, Steve, I thought if God wasn't rebuking me and disciplining me, it must mean that I'm okay. Wrong. If God's not rebuking and disciplining you, it means he doesn't love you. Now you say, I thought Jesus loved everyone. Oh, he does if you're talking about agape. But this scripture isn't agape. Agape is the, uh, what you find in John 3.16 where it says, For God so agape the whole world that he gave his only son. Agape is the most self-sacrificial kind of love. That's what agape is. All right, But this scripture where Jesus says, Those whom I love, I rebuke and discipline, this is talking about Filio. And Jesus does not filio everyone. In fact, he doesn't filio many. Filio is about intimately close friendship. When Agape says, I would die for you, Filio says, I want to whisper secrets to you. I want to be your intimately close friend. I want to go for walks with you. I am going to be your comforter in this trial. I am going to be with you through this. You're going to experience my friendship. When the whole world is collapsing all around you, you're going to know peace that passes all understanding because you're going to feel my hand in yours. And you're going to know that everything's okay. Friend, you need filio. You need intimately close friendship. And Jesus says, those whom I filio, or let me say it this way, those whom I'm calling into intimately close friendship, I rebuke and discipline. So if you've been finding that lately, and I'm finding many Christians, especially in the last few months, I'm getting emails, texts, phone calls from people. They're, people are just in a place in their lives right now that they're saying, I have to deal with my sin. Sometimes it's sin that you've been, you've been you're putting up with for 10 years, but suddenly it has to be dealt with. Suddenly I've got to break free from these chains. Friends, if that's you, that's because Jesus is calling you into intimately close friendship right now. And you need to say yes to him. Make time for him. Draw close to him. Meditate on his word. Pray. Go for walks with him. And whatever he's asking you to do, do it. Because he's right now, he's looking throughout the whole earth and he's trying to decide, whose life am I going to pour myself into? In these days, the, Bible, uh, the scripture is, the eyes of the Lord run to and fro throughout the whole earth. He's looking to strengthen those who are wholehearted. Will he strengthen you? Will you be one in these days that Jesus will be able to show off in your life so that the world may see that there's a distinction between being a child of God and being a child of the devil. Being one who walks with Jesus or one who does his own thing. And friend, I'll tell you, if you've got your hand in his You don't have any reason to be afraid. You are not going down. A thousand may fall at your side, 10,000 at your right hand, but it will not touch you. You're going to be A-OK. In fact, you're going to be a lifeboat for others to help rescue other people from desperate situations. Anyways, friends, say yes to God. 
Lean into him. I'll give you one more 319 that'll be a blessing to you, and then I'll let you go. Acts 319 says, Repent then and turn to God so that your sins may be wiped out and that times of refreshing may come from the Lord. Friend, this is to be a time of refreshing. So repent, turn from that old stuff, lean into the kingdom life, and watch the miracles start popping up all around you because that's God's plan for you in difficult times. Hope this was a blessing to you. If you liked it, like it, share it with your friends. And if you haven't already, please, please, please join the Oil Patch Pulpit community. Friends, I want you to know we're coming into times where uh, you're not going to see these messages. It gets harder and harder for them to get out. Don't expect social media to get this message to you. There are times coming where if you want to get kingdom revelation, you're going to have to be on that, uh, uh, on that. You're going to have to have that, be on that email list of whoever, whatever ministers that you're connecting from, whatever streams you're drinking from. Friend, you need to be on their mailing list because uh, otherwise it's going to be harder and harder for our, get our messages to get out to you. So if you haven't already, uh, join the Oil Patch Pulpit community. I'm not going to ask for your money. I don't want it. But I will, will send you links to all my videos and messages for free. All you have to do is send me an email to feedback at oilpatchpulpit.com and say, Steve, I like your stuff. Send it to me. Feel free to send me your prayer requests and uh, we will pray for you. We will believe God for breakthrough in your life. Also, if you're a business owner, make sure you mention that because uh, we're going to be doing some special equipping for those who are business owners. Once again, just let me know. Let me know your name. What's your business called? Send me the info to uh, feedback at oilpatchpulpit.com. God bless you. We'll see you soon.